Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I will start looking at how to improve our search of nearest neighbors um, performance by uh, by downloading and uh, adding into this project uh, KD3 class. Uh, so there has been written several. Uh, different algorithms and KD3 is one of uh, them which is used to very quickly find nearest neighbors. So to find this class we can just uh, open Unity Forum and search inside the forums forums so we can search forums and type nearest neighbor and press enter and here is this uh, for example my post here is somebody else posted uh, point nearest neighbor search class so here is this this set of uh, of posts which actually has um, its nearest neighbors it's it has been posted on uh, 2009 so it's a little bit old but um, it has been a little bit improved since then and let's just um, I also added a little bit of improvements so let's just download um, most recent version which I could find here so where is that find probably this one it's my post okay so let's download kd3 and let's go to unity projects where we have our project um, here uh, where should be neighbors so it's here and let's save into assets and click save um, okay so let's get back now to unity and to see assets and we can see here is this kd3 class has appeared let's open it up and to take a look this is uh, this is actually quite complicated um, class but it has only uh, just about 300 lines of um, of um, of everything so uh, we will not go into details about explaining how kd3 works um, but we will go through f its usage how to actually use it so the first thing to do is to actually um, to create a tree and to um, to set points into a tree so to do that we will do something like um, declaring kd3 kd let's type kd and that's it um, now there, there are several methods in uh, how to create kd3 let's check, let's check if it can recognize yes everything looks fine um, so firstly there is uh, KD3 make from points. It's a static function, so we will need to type KD3 dot make from points, and it takes as argument uh, an array of vector three. So we have been uh, working last time to make a list of positions uh, of vector three. So it is already good. We don't have uh, game objects anymore, but we have just positions. So if we go just outside of start uh, start menu, 
we could um, um, we could actually uh, make a tree by um, by typing kd equals kd three dot make from points. This will build a tree. It's called building tree. So we will do it only once because our points are not changing. If points would be changing, we will need to rebuild the tree. Um, usually when we expect them to be uh, changed uh, far enough. So probably I misspell this one. R small. Make from points and let's feed on this uh, positions dot to the array because it takes not a list but an array. It's a different one. And then save it. And look if it uh, okay, brilliant. It, it it compiles, it doesn't have errors. So next thing to do is to search for neighbors. So we had here uh, find nearest neighbors. If we write another method, let's say void find nearest neighbors kd this one will find nearest neighbors with kd3 and um, we're starting again the same way with the loop but now it's a bit it will be a bit different thing uh, because um, now we will be calling a function um, and the function to call will be find nearest find nearest is the function which will find nearest neighbor in the array and return the index of this array if it is not um, found if neighbor is for some reason not found, it returns minus one. So we can do as simple as kd dot find nearest nearest. And uh, to find nearest, we want to put its positions. Um, so it would be position, position, positions dot uh, positions i, yes. So int id equals let's put it min id like that and let's um, put it again in the same way as we did before so but this time mean distance will be just a distance between these two points. So if you copy just from here, oops, just like that. Um, and instead of this one, I can, instead of J, I can use mean dist ID. And uh, I can just print out the dist, I guess. So now that should be working. So we can see that it's much more compact than, than this one. Um, 
and let's just check if it works so now let's bring it back not into update but back into start and uh, let's open this one as well and let's see if it prints out indices and distances the first one will be um, 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 um. okay the first one it happened that uh, I used 1000 objects just let's put 10 but it was quite fast and it didn't crash that's good okay now let's try to run and see where our neighbors so zero maps to seven one maps to two two maps to one and so on so let's repeat again and see if it's the same so it was zero seven the first one if i click run again it's it's again zero seven yes yes this is because we initiated seed and um, it is always the same points now instead of that in start we can call find neighbors kd to see if it works correctly mm -hmm. okay so it was zero seven and now if i click run it finds everything zeros it is because uh, the point is being found as its own this is um, this is what it's supposed to happen because uh, um, because we didn't tell to ignore points to ignore its own points it is uh, not using this condition and it is finding the, po the point on its own so the actual thing is to would be to actually uh, find second nearest neighbor which would be so we need to use find nearest k um, so instead of that it's very simple to um, to modify because in a previous pre, uh, in a previous test it didn't return uh, k so we can find nearest k um, and we need to to write that it's second one so it means the first one will be the point itself and the second one will be the first nearest neighbor and so on uh, so now let's look if it works correctly zero eight okay um i think it might be what if i put one it might be not working something or because i think the numbers were a bit different so yes it it actually needs to 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 use one not two the two means the the second one so it kind of uh, it it accounts um actually this this one accounts uh that it wouldn't be the um the point on its own so okay so the next thing to do uh 
is to actually compare uh, if if both uh, methods returns the same nearest neighbors. Um, so I guess I am. Um, I will do that in the next video. So thanks for watching and see you next time.